How you doing, everybody? This is Jimmy the Bull at MuscleMonster.com. I'm here today to share with you my personal power straps, how to help you become the best power bodybuilder I can possibly be, train through injury, gain strength, and now I'm going to share with you how you can get the extra mile in the gym, pushing and pulling and getting through the exercise. These are the best power straps you'll ever use. Go to MuscleMonster.com to get the full demonstration. John, said, John Bravo, you know what the solution is? If anyone starts getting on your case and doing disrespectful stuff, what I think you should do is call up Chad Nichols' son <laughs> and have him go take care of it because he evidently is not afraid to confront anyone, especially uh -huh. after confronting Sean Ray at the expo. That, that was awesome. What do you, what do you guys think well about deserved. that? I see folks nice. well What deserved. do you guys think about that? Let's like go around and see what everybody thinks about that. That was a that was a Dave, PC move. move. Start the Dave, meeting. go. Go, Dave. Dave. You know, I, if, if you run your mouth enough, you know, eventually someone's going to call you out on it. Um, do I think, you know, what he did was good? No, because you can't go around threatening people, you know, because Sean could have had him arrested, you know. I wonder if he got banned from the army. But if you open your mouth enough, there's always someone who's, who's just, like, I would just ignore it, you know. But some people, and Chad has ignored it for years, right? I mean, Chad never has confronted uh, Sean at all. Obviously, it was bothering his son enough to confront him, but there's always oh, wait someone. A minute, wait a minute. There's Let's go around. Let's go around. There's always someone who about. will do something about it. I mean, did someone did something to Leo, right? I wouldn't have done anything. I could care less about him. You know, you know, I didn't like him, but but I didn't want to see anything happen to him. I wouldn't have done anything to him, but, but Dave, someone did something to Leo because – Let's go around. Let's go around. Yeah. Let's go around. So go around. That, that's mine, what yeah. happens. You know, when you, when you start criticizing people – and and assassinating their character, which is what Sean did to Chad. Yes. Someone might not like it, and someone might do yeah. something about it. You know, that's the way it goes. And Sean spoke negatively about Dominic, also. Yeah, he didn't just speak bad about Chad. Um, one thing I would say is is that when you say something to that person face to face, you actually can't get arrested for it. It's not a oh, crime. No. You can only get arrested for a threat if it's over the phone. So, oh, really? Yeah. So if you say something to someone to their face, you're basically telling them it's a warning, which is what he said. And, you know, you you should take that seriously because he didn't do anything physical to him. He warned him and said, don't or the next time my foot in your ass, basically. And, um, you know, I think it was well deserved because I and one thing I just want, I hope Sean learns a lesson from this. You know, he won't. He won't, he won't, he won't, he won't learn anything. Greg, is he is Sean a good guy? Greg, Sean's Sorry. a good guy. I get along with Sean. <laughs> wait a minute. You guys are missing a whole point in Tell it. us. I'm gonna Tell give us. the kid props for one thing. He stuck up for his father. Yeah. After that, I gotta say, I'm sure that his father's not too happy. I don't I I like Chad. I like the kid I never heard of before. Okay. And I like I like Kim Chavesky. I know I remember her from years ago. I think that's his mother, but regardless. Stay, okay. Yeah, it is. Did she stay but, at your house? No, she never stayed at my house. <laughs> Listen, but here's the thing, okay? First of all, according to Lee Priest, Chad and the son went and confronted uh, Sean the night before. Yes. And they discussed this the night before, and supposedly it was settled. Then the next day at the meet and greet, the kid went up to Sean and pulled that stunt on him, but whoever it was that was filming it didn't get the film. Okay? It was so, at his oh, booth, fuck, we got it. So that was the third time. And Sean, I mean, uh, and this is Lee Priest who doesn't like Sean Ray. Okay? And he was saying, I read this on your, Dave, it was on your Facebook. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And Lee even said that the kid did it a third time. And that's why Sean Ray, if you listen to the tape, Sean Ray even said, Oh, no, not again, because this is the third time. <laughs> right, right. So, number one, I, I understand the kid's upset about the whole father talk, but that's – your father's got to handle that himself. No, he spoke one. about number it two, too, Sean. But I mean, it's Larry great. will probably tell you, a true tough guy, if that was me, I'd go to his fucking room. Not in front of everybody. No tough guy's going to say, imagine Greg, saying me to – Greg's people, right. No, film me. Hey, do me a favor. Put the camera on. I'm going to go tell him <laughs> I'm going to kill him. No. Greg, Greg's but, right. I would have knocked on his fucking hotel room door, and when he opened the door, I would have pushed him in, closed the door behind me, just me and him, and yep. I would have said, you got a fucking problem, motherfucker? And I would have gave him a few little fucking things to remember me by. Yeah. No bruises, no nothing. You know, maybe a knee to the gut or whatever the fuck, so he can't 
you know. And then I'd let him know. That's right? what I mean. He's a teenager, okay. I believe. No, hey. but wait a minute, though. He may be a teenager, but that doesn't. Let me tell you something about Arnold Schwarzenegger and Jim Lorimer and Dave and John Mar Romano. Notice if there is a fight at the Arnold Classic in that expo, both parties automatically get arrested. They will go through shit down at the fucking police station. Mm. Whoever is the real aggressor, if somebody fought back because they had no choice, that real aggressor, they will push uh first of all you'll be banned from the arnold but they will push charges on you to the extent that they can because columbus ohio they that is their money they yeah. need that venue every year for their fucking for their money Absolutely. you understand what Although i'm saying I hear rumors they're moving to vegas that's just rumors that i heard well but that's what but that's because people can't take the snow in the cold weather it's stupid yeah. arnold should do this <laughs> in September, but that's yeah. neither here nor there okay why put it in the middle of the winter but yeah. the thing is if there's a fight well, I know from working for Muscular Development, we were told if there was a fight, both parties are going to get arrested and whoever the aggressor is, is going to spend time in jail. There, there's no that they make their money off of this show and they don't need fights or tough guys. Show, right. OK, and no tough guy is going to film himself. Too. I understand. I give the kid a break, though. If the kids, are, I give him a break. I understand that's his father, but the father's got to handle that. And you and you know what? Sean Ray keeps talking. You know what I mean? You, you go to his hotel room by himself. Larry, right or wrong? You're right. That was a PC move. And if you don't okay, know what that means. Hey, Greg, a, is he a, a nice a, guy? A PC move means. He's a nice guy. PC means protected custody. Yes. So, so when right. I was in prison, there was a guy who was a Hells Angels. Long story short, he owed me money. He was gambling. He borrowed money from me. And uh, I confronted him on the yard. And he made a big scene right in front of the guard tower. Mm -hmm. uh, and I knew what he was doing because he wanted there to be a scene so the police would get involved. Mm -hmm. Then he would get gaffled up, sent somewhere else, and he wouldn't have to pay me. Mm -hmm. So I waited until the next day. Everybody How much went, did he owe you, Larry? Oh, I don't even remember. It's probably nothing. $5. To, yeah. <laughs> in, there, in there, $20 is a lot of money. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But anyways, I waited the next morning. So everybody went to breakfast and I knew this guy slept in. He didn't go to breakfast. I went down to his cell. I knocked on his door. I told him I need to talk to you. He said, no, I'm not opening the door. I said, come on, it's me. I just want to talk to you. He opened the door and I pushed him to the back of the cell, shoved his head in the toilet, flushed the toilet with his head in the toilet and held him under there while I need him in his, in his ribs. And I told him the next time I come back here, I'm going to kill you. <laughs> then I went back to my cell. Then I, about 20 minutes later, the lieutenant shows up with some uh, guards yeah. at my cell. They pull me out. Long story short, again, they take me to the office. He told on me, of course. And But what happened was he owed money to everybody on the yard. He was owing money wow. to the white supremacists, to me, to the blacks, to everybody else. Uh, and he was a Hell's Angel? He was a Hell's Angel, yeah. Weren't you afraid that the Hell's Angel guys would come after you? Bikers and prisoner are pussies. It's, uh, it's, they're it's they're the they're yeah, nothing. The Mexicans, they're, Larry, right? The ones you got Yeah, they're they're nothing. They're, they're they don't they don't want shit. Strength in numbers. But anyways, That's the lieutenant smacked the shit out of him in front of me. Really? Wow. And told him to knock that shit off and that he better pay me my money back. Mm. Oh wow. And wow. I I had everything I could do not to laugh. I was just biting <laughs> my tongue cuz he was smack he was smacking the shit out of me. Boom, boom boom. He listened to me, you son of a bitch. <laughs> and he paid he paid me the next day really wow that's crazy. yeah but that's what he did that what chad's son did was a first of all he confronted him the day before they didn't do anything then again didn't do anything then he approaches him in a booth with a camera because he wants to make a scene for youtube sure. you don't handle you don't handle things like that yeah. like greg said if he if he was serious he would have caught sean in his hotel room in the hallway, in the parking lot, somewhere by himself, and, and beat the crap out of him. <laughs> right, but, right. That would have been but he didn't do that. He made he a scene like for social did. media. I agree, because you know he knew he wasn't going to fucking do anything. Do you know what NYPD used to do? They put a phone book on your gut, and then they would take a fucking billy club and hit you in that phone book, because it leaves no mark, it's your word against theirs, and yeah. they fucking, believe me, you it fucks you up inside. You, you got all kinds of fucking internal shit going on. And you get hit with a phone book, right? The phone book. You got, you got hit with the phone book? 
Ask Joe Pietaro about that. They put Did the you get hit with the phone the book, show. though? What's that? Did you get hit with the phone it. book? I got hit with a lot of shit, bro. I've gotten hit with a bat. But what I'm saying is... In prison? No. Oh. No, 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 no. Dude, where I was, you couldn't even fart. They, they'd kill you over there. You know what I mean? But the thing is, I if the kid was there, I would have went in and I would have kneed Sean really hard in his stomach. When he bent up, there's no bruises. There's no bruises. I tell you, do fucking shit. Where, where's the bruise? Show me a bruise. You know what I mean? But he would have got the message. I, I, again, I, I like Sean Ray. This comes from this comes from my boy, who's my boy, Lee Priest. Okay, I love Lee Priest. You know that. And he doesn't like Sean Ray, but even he said that was wrong. The kid did the wrong thing. I understand that's your father, and you're trying to protect your father. But I think your father handled it already. It was already handled. You do things like that. If Sean Ray would have said, you know what? Fuck you, hit me. Now, what do you do? If you yeah. don't hit him, what do you do? Mm -hmm. Tell the girl, turn the camera off. We're not going to use the video. Or if you, do <laughs> hit him, if you do hit him, good chances Chad and him are going to be banned for life from that yeah. show. Yeah. And there's yeah. going to be law. They, uh, Dave, you know, you work there. You know the story. You know how the IPB is. And you know Lorimer. And yeah. Lorimer... Well, Lorimer doesn't run the show anymore. No, but even like, what he yeah. did to get him banned, I'm here. I was just about to say that, John. Dave, do you know if what he did, because it's it's on YouTube, it's on all the videos, did that potentially affect his being able to come back to the show? Yeah, I don't think. You know what it no. was? It, it, look, there's two ways of handling things. There's, there's the way, where you, the old school way, where you, you give the guy a beating. And then there's the embarrassing way well, on social media. They just wanted to embarrass Sean is what they were doing. No one was punching anyone, believe me. Because Sean, there was never a chance that Sean was going to lift a hand to this bad kid. You know, that. I talked to Sean afterwards. He said, I'm not going to roll around in, in the ground with a 20-year-old yeah. kid in the middle of yeah. Expo while I'm signing autographs. It was right. And the kid is huge, man. Let's just be honest. Yeah, that yeah. kid was huge. Good. He was tall. He looked like he could really do that something. That was to embarrass so. Sean. I thought he was the undertaker. Yeah, can I say... Wait, hey, Larry, check it out, Larry. I know Larry could attest to this. Larry, you know how it is. These guys are big. They're jacked. They're juiced up. But they never fucking threw hands in their life. And in the, you don't know what it's like to get punched in the face. Remember doesn't Mike Tyson? Mean, doesn't, Everybody's doesn't mean got shit. to play until they get punched in the face, right? Mm -hmm. So yeah. unless you've been in a fight before, because if you do that to the wrong guy and he fucking knocks your teeth out just because you're big, the biggest guys just fall harder. And mm -hmm. most of these guys... A lot of bodybuilders cannot fight to save their lives. They they rely on just their size and being yeah. jacked. You know what I mean? Yeah. To scare. To scare people. Yeah. If Sean Away. punched him, he would have known. You know what? Is. If Sean had turned her look, if that if I was there and that kid approached me, I would have got right back in his face, and well, I think he would have he would have shit himself. Larry, you're 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 well, definitely. Larry, you never would have done that to you because, because number one, you're a psychopath. <laughs> yeah. Number two, no. you don't bad mouth people. You know, no, so, the yeah. only person that ever that ever kind of said anything to Larry was Leo. Leo actually you know, marked <laughs> off on him. And I, I, you really? I, I don't, I don't yeah, know. but he, but he did it through like text that. message. Right. Well, yeah. like, what did he, he say to you, Larry? Larry? Way. And then I remember Larry telling me he doesn't know me like that. He doesn't know me like that. And I'm like. Yeah, I get that feeling, buddy. I'm glad we're friends. The thing with Sean is, is that he's been a dick for decades. Yeah. And 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 he's amassed a heel kind of persona like like you would get in, you know, wrestling. So on one hand, you kind of need a guy like that around to, 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 to balance the other side of it. But on, on the, the other hand, everybody's been so used to him being able to say whatever the fuck he wants and gets away with it. And nothing. I mean, look at what he said about Sean Roden. I mean, he, he, and, he, yeah. and he gets away with it. Right. So that's it, not totally. It, that's not true. What is Guy since Sardano approached him in the hotel was going to beat the shit out of him after that's the true. Sean Roden thing. And, and Sean shit himself and apologized. Oh, he did? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, that no, that apology that he did on, online, is that the one you're talking about? No, no, no. He oh, apologized no. to him in face oh. in, because he didn't want to get his ass kicked. Who did he apologize to? Guy says, you know, yeah. Guy was going to beat him up in the in the, in the the but he he did it in private. There was a couple of people right. around. But well, no, you guys, you and Greg are absolutely hundred percent on that. That should have been a, 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 the ultimate dealing with that is in print. But the, my point is, is that the public image of it is 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 everybody's so used to him getting saying whatever he wants and getting away with it, and he never gets a reprisal from it from any any relevant board of, you know, conduct. 
So what happens is this. Well, can, wait a minute. Age. Wait a minute, John. Don't you remember he got the big lecture from uh, uh, what's his name? Jane. Who owns the Olympia? Jay Jay, yeah. he, he yeah. online he made him look like an ass. He, yeah. he did, and that's and and so far Jake, Jake and 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 Dominic so far and Guy Sisternino, but that was behind closed doors. Nobody knows about it. But in terms People of a public flashing, you know, Dominic, uh, you know, and and, and um, um, Jake are the only two people that have really put taken Sean to task and put him in his place for running his mouth. And I like Sean. I've known Sean for years. He, he is he he is that role in our community that he's the guy that's going to say something stupid about an a, a, you know a sensitive situation. You expect it from him. He should be corralled. Absolutely, he should have to pay for this stuff. And as far as far as handling it. Yes, it should have been in person and his hotel room. I agree with you guys 100%. You thought but it was the, hotel room? But the public display, door, of, it, in, the public display of it is more to satisfy everybody who's so fucking sick and tired right. Of, right. of him shooting his mouth off and getting away with it. Joe Larry, you're 100% right. He's, he's, he is getting some reprisal from it, but it this is that's only recently. He's been doing this for almost 30 years. Do you think he's insensitive, or you think he just doesn't think before he speaks? He's a narcissist, absolutely. He's narcissist. Insensitive. It's exactly what it is. John hit the nail on the head. The guys, I like Sean. I get along just like John just said. I like him. I get along with him. But I can see he could be a dick. We all have friends. You, every guy in this panel has a friend. You know, I like him, but he's a dick. I know he's a dick. You right. know what Shot, I mean? Sean, like ha Sean has a way of saying things that if you and I said it, it would be taken completely different. Right. It's just, it's just yeah. the way he puts it out there that it rubs people the wrong way. It's insensitive, right, Larry? It's it's insensitive. It, it is. It is. But, you know, we would be canceled if we said the stuff that he said. Oh, yeah. Yeah. A hundred percent. It's a hallmark of a narcissist is lack of empathy. He, he has no empathy, no filter, no. You know what it is? It comes down to bad mentoring. He had no he had no good mentor to teach him how to be a public figure, how to handle his role, how to be, you know, appreciate his privilege. He had, he had none of that. He had, it's obvious he had none of that. Yeah. You, 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 you have to give him credit. He's, he speaks his mind where most people shut up and don't say anything. That's true. Most but you got to be able to, they just, they just, just back it up. Right. But you know what? You could make a statement and then be right. But you, you, you know, if someone dies, you don't put up a picture of the grim reaper. No, and say, that's I, see, I was right. I knew he was going to die. You know, yeah, but you don't can't blame case. people. If somebody dies, it's not, you know, because they've been like, they got kidney failure or something. And you're going to blame. It's not Chad's fault. He didn't, you know, I understand if he put him on a lot of drugs, but the kid, you know, that's just, if I give you a fucking gun to go hunting and you put it to your head and shoot yourself, you know what I mean? I, it's not, I don't, it's not Chad's fault. It's not like Chad wants to hurt Look anybody. at Amin over there. Amin's I was just about to say that, John. Yeah, Amin had the exact same situation. situation. Look at Amin. Holy fuck. Look what I'm talking. Yeah. It's, it's yeah. not, that's not Amin's. No, it, you can't blame people for what other people choose to do. You know what I'm saying? And, and well, knowing that, you know, the, listen, these the guys bottom take, line, Greg, is you can say whatever you want. Freedom of speech, and I support his right to say whatever he wants. Yes. But, but if Comes you're disrespectful to people, if you're disrespectful to people, and you say it in in the wrong context at the wrong time, you're going to have to answer to people who are not going to be happy about it. And that's part of free speech because Chad's son has the ability to have free speech too, and he can say whatever he wants to Sean. You remember so. what happened? I, to Louis I respect Chad's son for sticking up for his father. I got to yeah. give the kid credit for that. Yeah. I like to see a kid. That say, hey, you're talking about my father? The only thing is he shouldn't have done it with a camera and he should have done it personally on his own. And it was mm -hmm. it was supposedly already handled two two segments ago. Yeah. You know, it's like yeah. the third time. That's why Sean said, Oh no, not again. <laughs> you know what, Greg, Greg, one thing I could say, you know, that actually caused a bigger impact in the public's view. So maybe he actually could be like, you know what, that this is this is something I have to do something about because now the public also realizes this too. So I agree with everybody. I agree with all you guys, but at the same time, you know, I think his son had a, had a point a bit about making the public realize what, how insensitive he is. And, and do, you, how do you remember, do you guys remember Louis Marco? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah of course. Well, you, you remember he was bashing Phil Heath and he yeah. came up with the bubble gut. This, yeah, this, yeah. that. 
and he was just tearing up on bodybuilders. Sure. Yeah. And then I canceled him. Yeah. But, uh, and then he and then William Bonac bitch slapped him at FIBO. Yep. He didn't. He didn't slap him. He didn't, he didn't slap no, him. No, he but... did. He did. Where? At FIBO at the booth. Yeah. You never yeah, heard of him again. It was right? some other like Middle Eastern show. He and he didn't yeah, Middle East. I don't remember. The, I remember he the footage. He didn't slap him. He confronted him. He confronted yeah. him. Yeah. Yeah. I, he scared I, the shit out of him, whatever happened. He scared and him. He he him. No, actually, Marco said he was going to press charges against him, but then we never heard. We never saw uh, Louis Marco again. Never saw him again. I, I think he just threatened him. Yeah, yeah, but that, yeah, that canceled him. Yeah, I, had a, I had a run in with Louis Marco, too. I had a debate with him online, and that canceled him. Too. Dude, he uh, hates my guts. Dude, uh, uh, John, no one's Sean Ray. Tell me, he ain't going to – he might actually – this might make him say more because he knows that there were a lot of people sticking up for Sean Ray on that video, too. Yeah. So Sean Ray might be like, I'm not going to fight, but, you know, this is because these people can't take the truth. Well, he has the right to say whatever he wants, but he also has – but the person he says things about has the right to, to, to come back Absolutely. at him. Absolutely. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm agreeing. I'm just saying, but knowing him, I don't think he's going to stop. No, I got the solution. As Romano said, that's his shtick. That's his yes, whole thing. I agree with – that's what I just said. I agree with John. I, it's Olympia not, SmackDown. <laughs> We're going to have the Olympia SmackDown. Sean Ray Weaver, doesn't have Sean to fight. Ray. How about that one? No, no. Sean doesn't fight. Hold on. Let me tell you this scenario. Sean doesn't fight. I got to wrap up. Sean puts one of his fans, who never had any any fights before, fights in his behalf. Right? <laughs> well, what is Sean, the emperor of Rome? I mean, what is this? He has a <laughs> Gee, I love oh, that. Oh, oh, he has a representative fight to same. him. Who would do Olymp that? Come on, Olympia Smackdown. Settle your beefs. Yo, you're on the, all these online people selling your beefs at the Olympia. Is that what we'll you have, we'll have, we'll have a, a Mr. G plant, John, Mr. G planning uh, planning another fight that's not going to happen. Right. Two exactly. one minute. Exactly. You're going to be you're going to be two for two in a minute. Here. Ronnie, listen to me. I, when I get the money, why don't you do a, 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 it's happening. Do a documentary on Mr. G's uh, Olympia plans? You know, you know, Mr. G, listen, I love Mr. G because he reminds me of like an innocent little kid. I can't explain <laughs> it, I can't <laughs> my finger on it, but he seems so innocent. You know it's what I mean? Cookies. He's a great yeah. guy.